Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to give you as in-depth of a explanation on how to use Exploit Gamecaster as as realistically possible, because Exploit Gamecaster, as you can see from the 1, 2, 3 steps on screen, is relatively simple. So if you have Exploit Gamecaster open, all you really need to do at the most basic level is to switch to a game where by default you would see this FPS counter, you wouldn't see the Twitch chat box, um, but then to hit control tab and hit either record or stream. Now, stream to Twitch, or basically streaming at all, isn't going to work out of the box uh, because what you need to do is you actually need to connect into uh, one of those two accounts. Um, uh, Twitch or I believe YouTube. Oh, I guess it's just uh, Twitch at the moment. So if you go over to accounts on the main uh, XSplit Gamecaster window, you're going to see uh, Twitch over here. So um, you would basically click to authenticate with your Twitch account, and just like any other OAuth authentication, it basically will give you a pop-up, you log in, you say yes, you're okay with using Twitch, and then it's connected. So beyond that, uh, let's take a look at settings. You want to make sure that you're using the right microphone and camera, so uh, default microphone, that's whatever your system default is, but if you want to select one, this is the place to do it. Also, you can select a camera, um, virtual camera by face rig. That's um, the one I use sometimes to basically become a dark rather than uh, use my actual face. But uh, if you want, you can, uh, of course, select your webcam there. And this might be important if you're using an external webcam on a laptop, like if you've got a Logitech C920 or something like that. You want to make sure that's selected there. And once you have it selected properly, uh, you should see the preview window pop up over here on the left. Uh, beyond that, BRB graphics, this is something they add into Exploit Gamecaster so that whenever you are not actively inside of your game window, like right now, I'm not inside of the Hearthstone window, and you're streaming online to Twitch, it'll pop up the Be Right Back window, which you can see right here. It can show usernames if you decide to type them in here. Um, in addition to that, well, it, it only is active as long as it's enabled. And you can choose whether or not to allow audio. So if you want it to not pick up any microphone audio while you're away from keyboard and your game's alt tab, um, making sure that that's disabled is going to be a good idea. Uh, beyond that, you can see the screenshots you've taken with the tool over here on screenshots, uh, recordings which are going to save to your computer um, at, well, assuming you're using Windows, and actually it's all using Windows. So users, Chris, videos, and then XSplit videos is going to be over there on the right. Um, so all of these files are actually located in that folder. You can hit open folder if you want to see them using the Windows File Explorer. That'll be fine there. So beyond that, um, let's hit Control Tab inside of our game. Uh, record and stream. If you want to have the Twitch chat, thing show over here where you can actually see your Twitch chat as you stream and the new follower notifications. You got to go over here uh, to where the Twitch symbol is and either, well, it says hide from me, but it would be to show the Twitch chat panel and to show the followers and subscribers panel. Now it's up to you whether or not you want this to actually show in the video or just for you. So if you hover over here for the visibility section, you can choose in stream and recording, in game HUD. In stream recording will basically mean that it shows uh, to your stream, and I believe in game HUD will show uh, to you even while you're not control tabbed. Um, let's prove that actually. So in game HUD, uh, or maybe that's not quite it. Huh. Oh, 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 right. No, it is it. <laughs> the problem is that it only shows when you actually get a new subscriber. My bad, guys. Um, so in stream recording, if I wanted it to show to the stream, and in game HUD, if I don't have that enabled, it won't show to me. But I do want that enabled, so we're gonna uh, set that to enable again. And uh, yeah, maybe we want that too. Of course, you can do some changes with the styles, mess with the colors, yada yada. Um, let's see, is there anything else I'm forgetting here for you guys, though? Uh, if you want to add a stream overlay like a uh, what would you call that? It, like a scan if, for League of Legends or something to change your UI. Um, showing the web camera, you can do that there. And uh, yeah, that covers pretty much all the settings uh, for Exploit Gamecaster. 
if it wasn't already obvious, the reason you would use Gamecaster over Broadcaster is because XSplit Gamecaster is kind of easier to set up and get going, and it already has these features like follower notifications and Twitch chat built in. Uh, with getting those kind of things in XSplit Broadcaster is going to require more manual setup. Uh, though XSplit Gamecaster is more strictly for games, because obviously it waits for you to have a game open before recording. So, putting all that aside, I hope this has been a enlightening tutorial for you guys. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video content.